RSD, Art Nerd, Try Mari RTs.
Hey, who are you? Right. What do you want? Well, you can never be too careful. Be warned, it's not safe here. Super mutants have attacked recently and carried off some of our friends. Come in, just don't cause any trouble, okay? Hey, knock it off! They're out there. I can feel it. Uh, what, you? I gave you the welcoming speech. There was a super mutant attack recently, and where there's one big ugly, there are ten more just waiting to grab you by the throat. Then the slavers will come and pick off what's left of your carcass and drag any survivors to Paradise Falls. Skulk up toward Germantown, near the police station. They always come from that direction. Nearby, slavers move quick and come from all directions. Someone else might know where they nest. There isn't anything here that hasn't been destroyed or dragged away. You're better off scavenging the dead out in the wasteland. There's nothing here but the stench of death and the threat of attack looming over every sunset. Two very angry types of movements. Slow, lumbering, powerful movements and jerky, erratic, excitable movements, both coming for the kill. Sometimes you'll see small, tired dots on the horizon instead of angry, anxious ones. Those are settlers who come here from lamplight. The poor fools. Bye. Looks like the muties missed one. Hey, don't get any bright ideas about trying anything. We may not look it, but every one of us is a trained killer. Oh, who am I kidding? Look, we're in trouble here. If you want to help, great. If not, just please don't kill anyone while you're here. Well, we've got super mutants out that way and slavers up that way. Take your pick. They both come in here, drag off as many as they can carry, and shoot whoever puts up a fight. The best we can ever hope for is that they get here at the same time and fight over who gets to kill us. And where are we going to go? Megaton won't have us, Lamplight won't take us back, and Rivet City is too far. Besides, the bunch of us can't even hold this town. Can you imagine us schlepping across the wasteland? There aren't many of us left. There's me and Pappy. Red runs the clinic, but she's been taken by the mutant. Kimba does what she can. And there's Bittercup. She's just about as useless as a human being can be. Time Bomb was hurt in the last raid, so he's out. That's about it. The mutants and slavers have taken everyone else. Just us and a couple of guns are all that's left. Yeah, yeah. You're a scary wastelander. Look. You'll either kill us or you won't. Most of us have already accepted death, so you won't get much of a reaction with your threats. At least we won't be slaves if you shoot us all. Gee, thanks. Are we done here? What? You've never seen a super mutant before? They're mean and ugly and scary as hell. They came and rounded up a bunch of us and carried them off. God, they must be doing awful things to them. I'd go rescue them, but then who'd defend Big Town? I patrol every day now. And I got a little present for those muties when they come back. You know what it is? 
this kick-ass gun. That's what. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. They went northeast. Probably to the Germantown police headquarters. They have guns, and they're mean. So you better be careful. You gonna rescue them, or what? That's totally awesome! Yeah! Okay. While you're out on your mission, I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Cool! Hey, did I show you my new gun? It's totally awesome. Keep an eye out for muties. of power. We put our trust, our faith, in half-wits. Our intrepid leaders had everything they wanted. Power, wealth, prestige. And it made them lazy, America. Oh, yes, and laziness breeds stupidity. Rest assured, I will not make the mistakes of my predecessors. When John Henry Eden builds a country, he builds it to last. The American way. Don't you, my darling America, just... Oh, hi there. I'm Bittercup. Finally! Someone who doesn't judge me! You know, the people here are just so quick to assume that they know everything about you. I mean, like... Just because I'm different doesn't mean that I'm some sort of freak, you know? It's like, hello, this world sucks. No one gets that. They're all like, blah, 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 blah. What's wrong with that girl? God, it's so nice to have someone who understands. I mean, sure, when I left Little Lamplight, I was happy to be out of there. I was dating Pappy then, you know. I got here and he was like, Big Town will be safe, but it wasn't. This place is always under attack, but I don't date liars, so I dumped his ass and got with Flash, but that didn't last very long. Me and Time Bomb were a thing for a while, too. I wander around town to find chalk and makeup sometimes. Not like there's any place to buy stuff. I wish it were. When I'm gone, I'll be sure to haunt this place. <sighs> if the mutants get you, come back and haunt me. At least we made it another day, right? A visitor? Who'd want to visit this hellhole? I'll bet you're here to rape and pillage us, aren't you? Aren't you? Not that it matters. We're all super mutant snacks anyway. We got two things to do in this town. Suck and die. No one ever makes it in this place. You won't find any stores to loot here. We're all gonna die! You got a problem? I told her things would be safe here. How was I supposed to know all those stories were bunk? Then she dumped me. Called me a liar. I was lied to myself, all right. 
Well, that didn't matter to her. Then she started dating Flash and got all spooky. Good riddance. Yeah, see ya. Greetings again, sweet America. This is President John... Why don't you look where you're going? You saved my life. Thank you. Damn. What... what happened? Wow. That's... you saved my life. Thanks. You're a good person, you know that? All right. I'll be careful. I promise. God, life is such a hassle, you know? Yeah, see you. Hey, it's good to see you. Is there something I can do for you? Anything? Whoa, that was a long time ago. I'm not sure when, but... Everyone who grows up in lamplight ends up here. Not too many of us left. We did? Wow. That's news to me. How long was I unconscious again? She didn't, you know, do anything to me while I was out. Did she? That might explain those weird dreams. Watch yourself out there. God, life is such a hassle, you know? Bye. Watch the wastes. Keep track of movement. What? Did you need something? Bye.
It's killing time.
You came in here on your own power, so you must not be busted up too bad. Not quite as good as that vault stuff you're used to, but it'll do you. You done? Good. Try to be careful. Tamper with that and we're going to have a problem. Women and children of the earth, come forth to gather and behold. So what's it going to be? Here, take a look. Have a good one, stranger. The power. So what's it going to be? Here. Enjoy. Have a good one, stranger. Here in his favored land. Come forth and drink the Sorry, waters can't talk of the now. This ancient weapon of war is our salvation. It is the very symbol of Adam's glory. Remnants of the promise of our division in the times to come. 
give your bodies to Adam, my friend. Leave me alone. The fire of his brilliance. Each of us shall give birth to a billion stars formed. Welcome to Why don't you run? Why don't you go bother the Brotherhood or something? No time to talk to your type, local. Yes? Welcome, welcome! My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in time. You bear the look of one who is haunted. But I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. Have a look. My caravan sells clothing and armor to decorate and protect the body while it endures the ravages of the physical world. My travels take me from Canterbury Commons to where there is true need of this protection. After all, this is what they'll pay the most for. If the clothes make the man, then here are the means to remake yourself.
Give me a shout if you need anything else. Stay safe on the path you travel. I'm just here to protect the merchandise. Hang on, you're not one of them. I nearly blasted you in two. Get over here before they spot you. Now what the hell are you doing all the way out here? That's great, but I got bigger problems than being the town post office right now. The shit's about to hit the fan in this cesspool, and I don't think I can stop them. Well, at first, they do their typical gang bullshit. You know, break stuff and make lots of noise. But they always kept their distance. But this last time, they went too far. They killed all of our Brahmin. I mean, that's our lifeblood out here, you know. Nothing. The family are just a bunch of damn punks. Yeah, sure. I'll just go and take all of them out by myself. What are you, crazy? As soon as they roll into town, I lock my doors just like everyone else. We could really use some assistance here. I don't want to take my eyes off the ramp here. There's no telling when the family will return. Can you do me a favor and check on the other people's houses here? You know, make sure they're doing okay? Speak with Davis West, Karen Shenzi, and Ken Ewers. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it to the West yourself. There used to be more families living here. Most of them have dismantled their shacks and moved on to greener pastures. Those that are still living here are keeping themselves indoors, thanks to the family. I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. Problem is, they always travel in the dark so I can't see exactly where they go. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding, like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema, or Northwest Seneca Metro Station. Just watch yourself. I've got an itchy trigger finger. Is this the mailman? Oh, I do hope my fall catalog has arrived. Oh, Evan, he's such a gentleman. Please, do come inside. Let me unlock the door for you. What the hell are you doing in here? Get the fuck out. Oh, for the love of... Look, she's dumber than a bag of hammers, okay? If you want to talk to anyone, you need to talk to me. So what the fuck do you want? We're great. 
just peachy. I love sitting in my house with my thumb up my ass. Tell Mr. King that sitting here all day isn't going to make us any safer. We need to take action. Well, he's town mayor or sheriff or whatever he calls himself. He calls all the shots. When he says to get the heck indoors and stay put, we do that. Everyone is keeping themselves safe from the family. If I was you, I'd do the same. You want to know more? Talk to Evan King. They're low-life scum who decided to use Arafu as their own personal amusement park. Oh, they're a fun bunch. I'd take a shot at them if I could, but judging from what they did to the Brahmin, I wouldn't live long to tell about it. Good. Now get out. You must be exhausted from all that walking in this horrible heat. Oh, and hungry too. Sit, please. Braley Ewers is the name. Don't mind my husband, Kenneth. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Oh, he's such a dear. I must remember to make more of those preserves he loves so much. Oh my, I don't know. Mrs. West is probably whipping up a batch of her famous cookies, and all the kids are playing in the yards. It's so nice outside. The grass looks lovely this time of year. Oh, certainly. Close the front gate when you leave, and mind my begonia garden. I just planted them. Yes. Who is it? Oh, he did? Well, it's about damn time he did something. Come on in. I'll unlock the door. It's nice to see a friendly new face around here. It's been a long time. The name's Karen Shenzi. Scared out of my mind! I'm glad he's checking on us, but until someone nips the problem in the bud, we may as well stay inside forever. He's a spineless wimp. His best solution to the family is to stay inside our homes and hide. What does that tell them? It tells them that we can be pushed around whenever they want. I'm sick of it. And I'm sick of King. We're scared shitless! Evan King's got everyone so worked up about the family, no one wants to set foot outside. That asshole runs the show. But does he really do anything about our problem? No. All they do is terrorize us. They taunt us to open our doors, throw bottles at our houses, and scream at us. If I knew King had my back, I'd step outside and show them just how I feel about their visits, especially after this last attack. Sure, go. Just like everyone else.
What did they tell you? Everyone okay? The family must have gotten to them in the last attack. Sons of bitches. Damn it! If only we had more men, we could stand up to them. I'm sick of them terrorizing this town. Wait a minute. When you searched the West's place, did you find their son Ian's body? This has to be the work of the family. I've caught that weird old leader of theirs talking to Ian down by the river. Look, I know I've asked a lot of you already, but you have to find that kid. He deserves better than all this. Thanks, kid. You're all right. Bite marks on their necks. That's the strangest thing I've ever heard. The family must have attack dogs with them or something. Oh, this is all I needed right now. What am I going to do? They'll keep coming back until all of us are dead. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it back to Lucy or to Ian if you can find him. Next time I see the family, there's going to be hell to pay. <laughs>